All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, fishing accomplices, good morning and welcome back to fishing. So it is still beginning of February, getting closer to mid-February now, and as you can probably tell behind me, crack of dawn. Flat, calm, beautiful conditions, and uh, yeah, we're gonna try and get on some trout of some variety or anything, honestly. I'm gonna keep it short because uh, this is prime time, sunrise bite status. Uh, and yeah, we're gonna do what we've been doing, just casting, working the bottom of the water column, middle, and even top from time to time to see if we can get on some kind of trout species and i'll keep it simple if we get something we'll say more you know what we're about to see and you know it's the place to be let's get some fishing accomplished so basically as soon as the sun rose i tried fishing the spot that i was at or that i got to but unfortunately there wasn't too much going on there so i ended up moving pretty much to the area that i was fishing in the last video so we'll pick up with that because that's where things started to get interesting Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, small mouth, come on. See that? Small mouth chased it all the way up. Just had a small mouth chased up in the last clip, so hopefully you can see that. Not very big, but good sign that there's some life over here. Yeah, I never ended up seeing that fish again. Um, but as you can tell, it was a very windless, flat, calm day. It was quite warm as well, so uh, I continued casting. It wasn't a red hot bite, but there were definitely fish around. And when I did encounter my first fish, of course, my camera wasn't rolling, so we will cut ahead to that. I thought it was rolling, but I guess it wasn't, but at least we're gonna get this part of the, the catch, hopefully. That's what happens when I wake up at five in the morning every day of the week. Really not getting my best camera game. Feels nice though. Just gotta get them out of here. Feels a lot nicer than it really is, but it's a nice fish. It's a nice fish. Probably my best from this lake. Oh boy, oh God, oh God. Heck yeah. <laughs> all right. Hopefully we got all of that. Hopefully we got at least the middle of the fight and uh, the hooks, well, not the hooks up, but the land, but you never know. But this is a decent laker for, you know, shore from this lake, no doubt. It's like a 22, I wanna say, 24 maybe. Got them right where we want them. It's definitely my biggest one from uh, this particular lake, though. Nothing on some of the ones we've gotten upstate. Let's just do that. Quick measure. This fish. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't want you dry. Yeah. Oh, close to 23. Pretty fish. He's good. See you, buddy. All right, all right. No skunk today, which is really always a great and beautiful thing when you're walking this far to find fish. But uh, yeah, let me talk about what we did to get that fish. We're fishing this three quarter ounce cast master. I've already lost one today and I only have this one, but I've got some other spoons that I think would equally do the trick. But uh, yeah, we're just casting it very far out as far as we possibly can 
letting it sink to the bottom, and then extremely slow retrieval back to land. Uh, checked all my knots, all my connect points to make sure we're not gonna snap off if we hook another fish or what, whatnot. But yeah, no fray. Let's keep it going. Back at it. It's just about to switch away from the spoon, but kind of like last time, let's keep it going if it's gonna work. So I might try something different just because we've been working this thing for a while, but again, I'm not expecting a red hot bite this time of year. Yeah, that fish hit just as I was about to switch away from the Castmaster. Um, so obviously I continued fishing it for a little bit longer, good like 20, maybe 30 minutes. And just as I was about to switch it again, uh, I was caught off guard by another fish. Try this one and one more with the spoon, then we're gonna switch things up to a spinner probably. See how that does. I like to think that the spinner has better action and the fish are more likely to strike it if they're not wanting to. Get more of a reaction strike, but it doesn't have the range that a spoon does, like this cast master, so it's like a, a trade-off. You can't catch a fish that you can't reach. But at the same time, if you're reaching the fish and you're not forcing the fish to bite, then it's kind of a 50-50. Uh, oh, yeah. That's a good one. Just as I was talking about getting rid of the spoon. Definite Laker. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. Sim it down, sim it down now. Keep thinking he's coming off. This one's good. It's a good fish. Unless he's like tail hooked or something. Oh, it's a hundred percent a lake trout. This is a good fish. No. Lost a really nice fish. It sucks. Oh well. It's the way it goes. Win some, you lose some. Let's see if we can redeem ourselves for that fish. All right, I'm taking a little break to switch up lures. Um, all the fish so far have come up on that cast master size, uh, three quarter ounce. However, I'm going to switch up to this spinner bait. I'm actually going to break that because it's a little frayed um, just to see if maybe you know a change of presentation will make a difference I do have this little swivel barrel swivel to a snap swivel here to minimize line twist i'm also taking a break to enjoy our seltzer of the week this one i bought a while ago it's a polar it's one of the seasonal ones this is expedition flavor um, specifically it's clementine bramble so I meant to drink this a while ago but took that hiatus from the channel for the, the season and some other things I had going on. Oh, that flavor packs a punch. Um, this is, uh, if you like kind of orangey stuff, then definitely check this out. Uh, and thank you for checking out this video. Hopefully uh, I get some more action before we close out. Otherwise this will be kind of silly, but let's see what we can do. All right, let's see if the spinner bait will catch fish that the spoon did not. This seltzer has been in my bag for quite some time waiting to be reviewed. And we got this nice little pouch here to keep it in. I find that waders are very helpful for this kind of fishing. Um, if you're wondering, 
uh, why I'm not in my kayak on a flat, calm day like this. Uh, you are not permitted to bring a kayak into this particular lake. Um, as it, with all New York City reservoirs, you have to use like a registered rowboat. Uh, so for that reason, we have to fish from shore. Uh, I'd have to do quite a drive if I wanted to launch the kayak and I wouldn't be getting this kind of fish uh, unless I made quite a distance drive um, to launch the kayak that is. So that's why we're fishing from shore. Uh, I also strongly prefer the lighter waders. While they might not keep you as warm, uh, it's a lot easier to carry all this gear for miles. <laughs> I used to use neoprene. I've gone back and forth throughout the years, but uh, neoprene will definitely add a lot of weight and make these hikes very uncomfortable. So I'm breathable, lighter waders all the way. Oh, we're on already. Already, that spinner. Is he still on? No, he got off, damn. Did he? Or is he just really small? No, he got off, dang. That spinner works. Let's try again. So after missing that fish with the spinner, uh, I tried fishing it for at least another 20 minutes and then I moved around and switched to a number of different lures couldn't get a bite for probably another hour or so unfortunately I also lost my other cast masters so I had plenty of other gear but no more cast masters which got the bites in the first part of the morning so I ended up moving around a bit and trying a bunch of different things and eventually uh, after probably another good hour and a half I landed on a blade bait as my next lure of choice and it didn't take too long for that to get into some action Blade bait time. Let's see if this can do the trick. It's done the trick for me before, and they cast a mile, so let's see what we can do. These are really cool lures, especially when they work. I haven't caught a proper trout on a blade bait in years, well, a couple years. Got him on the blade bait. Doesn't feel too big, but we're, we're cool with that. As long as he stays on. He's trying everything today. Let's land this fish. Get out of there. Pretty sure this is a lake trout, but this one could be a bass. Could be a bass. No, it's a trout. Is it a trout? Yeah, it's a trout. Nice fish. Oh, get out of there. All right. It's not gonna make up for that fish we lost, but it's a nice little redemption. Not bite it. All right, let's get this guy and hook and get him back. Pretty little guy. He's burping up a storm. Don't worry, buddy. Easy, 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 easy. There you go. Didn't even need to use the. It's probably neighborhood of 20 inches. look <laughs> he's ready he's scrappy he's scrappy see you later <laughs> right. very happy to get that fish uh, on this little blade bait something called a vibrato used to be made by Sabil, a company called Sabil, but now I guess Berkeley bought them out but very quality product uh, link in the description 
between these and uh, Binsky's, those are my two favorites. I tend to fish these a bit better from shore. Binsky's, however, I prefer off the kayak or off a boat. Um, and it's really hard to get hung up from shore with the Binsky and then lose it. It's like a nice, you know, very nice lure. So for that reason, I tend to fish these more from uh, the shore. Uh, but yeah, the way I got that fish, just like pretty much the same thing as the cast master, which I'm out of right now. Cast it out, let it sink all the way to the bottom. Close the bale. And once we get it, just lift it up, make sure the blade is, you know, engaged. And it's kind of like fishing a lipless crankbait. You just reel slow, reel it in. And every so often give it a, a twitch and just feel the, the blades engage. Uh, but that's all there's to it. So, yeah, I mean, today, just got to throw what works for the fish, you know. You'll throw a lure at the same spot over and over and over again and switch up presentations, switch up lures, and you might just find that the fish will, you know, hit then when they weren't before. So just being able to roll with the punches, I suppose. But uh, let's keep trying, see if we can get another one. Yeah, it's uh, kind of funny. I wasn't fishing that blade bait very long before that fish jumped on, and I really was hoping if I moved around and, you know, fished thoroughly enough, I'd eventually find another fish. Uh, unfortunately, I did not. And I additionally decided to try a number of other lures, which didn't get any bites. Uh, and, you know, just as a viewer, it might seem like I'm fishing the exact same spot this entire video. Uh, I did move around quite a bit, but this was the spot I kept coming back to where I was finding fish. So, yeah, it just was the spot this day for me. Uh, but tried a, a number of presentations, a number of, number of different lures, and unfortunately I couldn't find anything else. So bite just kind of shut down for me by the midway point of the day. Whatever, regardless, I'm happy to be catching fish in the middle of winter. So, you know. Not an amazing day, but a good enough day. All right, <laughs> that's gonna do it today. Uh, definitely an interesting day. Tough bite, all things considered. Um, beautiful weather, I mean, 50 something degrees and it seems kind of crazy to be out here this long and only catching two fish, but I mean, it's February. It is what it is. Uh, <laughs> I'm happy to be catching anything. What would have really made the day is if we landed that one nice fish that we lost, but it happens. Uh, at least we got two other fairly decent fish. Uh, the big takeaway again was just uh, being ready to fish everything. Um, obviously the water's cold and I'm fishing in deeper water or, you know, we're fairly adjacent to deep deep water. Um, the Castmaster was definitely the, the top lure in terms of covering ground and getting bites, but everything else, you know, was able to get at least a, a bite or a follow. Um, you know, I had the, the one on the, the blade bait, I had a hit on the spinner, um, but the cast master I think was the most versatile for today. So definitely gonna get a few more of those, but yeah, uh, it's any way you can pass February by. Uh, days like today make you think that spring is just around the corner, but it'll probably be a little while, but I'm okay with that. Thanks for watching, catch the next one. Goodbye from fishing.